Hello again, everybody. It's Mark Pencestyler from zenithowner.com. Good news today, we have a heat wave. It's all the way up to 40 degrees in the hangar today. Today's video is going to be on how I routed my brake lines out of the bottom of the fuselage. Everybody knows that most people will put an aluminum tube on the back of the gear to hold the brake lines kind of like that. And that's exactly what I plan to do. But what I really didn't like is how the, the brake line comes out of the bottom of the fuselage. I think most people just drill a hole and put a grommet in there and then put the brake line through it and it makes a couple 90 degree bends, which I just didn't like. So I wanted to come up with a better system. And to be honest, this has actually been bugging me probably since I've bought the airplane because I saw on the factory cruiser how they did it and I just didn't like it and I always wanted to come up with a better system. So I am going to show you how I did it. All right, here we are on the bottom of the airplane and this is what I've done. Instead of having the brake lines come straight down and then have to make a 90 degree bend to get over to the gear, I made these little fairings. And it's basically just an aluminum tube with a plate, JB welded together. And I've done it on both sides. And it makes a really, really nice exit for the brake lines. I'll go up top and show you what it looks like from the inside. As you can see, I had to angle the corner just a little bit to fit around the stiffener plate on the bottom. And here's the other side there. So it makes a very, very neat exit point. Now I'm going to show you how I made them. All right, the first step is to make our pieces we need. We need a tube and a plate. The tube, now you guys can make this kind of any length you want. Mine is an inch and a half. So I just mark an inch and a half. And I'll cut this scrap piece of tube. This is just 3 8 inch fuel tubing, aluminum tube. And the brake line fits perfectly inside there. Now that it's cut, obviously we need to clean up the edges. I'll use a file for that and we'll clean up the openings. All right, the next step is to make the plate that we need. I'm using a plate that's two inches by one and a half inches. And this is just a scrap piece of aluminum I had laying around. So I'm going to cut this out and it will make the slot in there for the tube. All right, after we have it cut, the next uh, step is to edge finish the edges. You guys can do that any way you want. You can do it on a Scotch-Brite wheel. I prefer to do it with a file. And there's one last step you guys can't forget. Always, always round the corners. Never leave a sharp 90-degree corner. And you can do that. Just like that, if you can see in the camera, like that, see how it's rounded? All right, to cut this slot, you can see I've made a line down the center, and there's three little marks on here. That center one is just the center of it, and these two are an inch apart. I'm going to draw a three, or drill a three-eighths hole at each of those points, and then cut the slot out in the middle. Now those points, if you move them further apart or closer together, that changes the angle that this goes through the tube. If, if you make those close together, it'll go through at more of an angle. If you make them further apart, it'll go through at a shallower angle. If this is an inch and a half, I found that exactly one inch apart makes it a, the shallowest angle you can get, which is what I'm after. So it'll look just like that. Now I'm sure all you guys know how to do this. I put a black mark on here where I don't want to drill into. So I'm going to use the first one, two, three, four step drills 
And when I see that black mark, I'll stop. I know some of this is hard to see because uh, I'm using a, an iPhone as a camera. It's not the, the highest quality we can get. But all I'm doing is drawing a line in between these two holes on the edges. Just like that. There's our slot that we want to cut out. Here's a tool I'm going to use to cut. This is just a nibbler. This is probably the easiest way to do it. I'm going to do one pass right down the center. I got to try to get this in the light so you can see it better. Guys, the more videos I make, hopefully the better quality they will be. I'll figure out things like lighting and things like that. Turn that light off from the so uh, all right so now we're left with this kind of looks like a cassette tape doesn't it <laughs> now I'm just going to carefully go down each edge like this okay can you see how i'm doing that this actually only takes a a minute to do if you weren't trying to film it. But this is, this is kind of the fun part of home building for me is designing these kind of things and making my own parts. I think someday I'd like to scratch build an airplane. Someday. The other thing I want to mention is before you do use JB Weld, take your pieces and scuff them up with a maroon scotch bright pad that'll give the JB Weld a mechanical bond to the aluminum kind of gives it something to grab onto and then once I'm done doing this I'm going to clean the parts with alcohol just to remove any dust and grease and oil and get the best bond that I can get there's our JB Weld I'm just going to take and mix up once you have your JB Weld mixed up, I'm going to use a toothpick and I'm going to try to put this on as neatly as I can. I want to go all the way around this piece so it's completely glued in. Stuff is actually kind of hard to put on nice and neat, but I think once it's dry, I can file it down or sand it down. I gotta be honest, the other one I did was actually easier to do than this one. I don't know why. I think I did a neater job on the other one. Oops. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of weight on this end and that keeps that end up against the, the plate. A little bit more. There we go. Nice. Now it's completely, completely surrounded. Once this is dry, I can smooth all that out. And I think it's going to be perfect. 
Well, guys, I hope you liked the video. I don't know if you can tell it was filmed a little bit out of order, but I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned something. Do me a favor, check out the zenithowner.com website, sign up for the forums. We have a very nice organized forums where you can organize topics and it makes things a lot easier to find. So until next time, see you later.